Hi guys, and welcome to Wylands. I have been busy building my base. Um, this is my new house. The other one was pretty messed up. Um, you know, it was all um, uneven. And although I like the bamboo, I decided to go ahead and, and do this one and uh, see what y'all think. So I'll take you on a little tour. Um, I had most of the resources for this, but um, I'm not that great of a builder. So I did do part of this in the editor um, just to make it a little bit easier and save me the, the headache. But a lot of it I did, um, you know, I just did it the normal way. Um, so I think it turned out pretty well. I'm still not sure about, you know, if I want to paint it. I don't have the paint gun yet. So I kind of cheated on the bottom stones, but uh, the rest of it I left until I can get the paint gun and see if I want to do that. So let's go on a little tour. Okay, so let's take a look at the outside first. We have the front entrance here. And then if we go around, we have our little planters and our little stairs and this is all the outside stuff you know because you can't smoke up your house <laughs> you don't want to do that and I have some power although when I did the um, remodel um, I disconnected the actual house because um, it just looked funny I think they're coming out with a um, tamer version that isn't so you know in your face um, so I'm gonna wait for that and see what it looks like and then hook it to the house so I just I had a bunch of glass from where my uh, ship got stuck so I made lanterns and I kind of like the way the lanterns look anyway so we can go down here this is another side entrance and you can also for convenience um, that's my workshop up there where I do I'll show you when we go in um, just to be able to get out here and make some things if I need to. I just love that lamp. <laughs> and of course we have a fireplace. I haven't finished the landscaping on this side yet. But down here we have our little garden. And I'm a little OCD. So this is all stuff for um, to make potions with and resources. Um, like linen and um, cloth and that kind of thing. I don't have them all in here yet, but we're working on that. We have our beautiful view of the ocean and our lovely ship. And I just love these little glow mushrooms. They make really nice path lighting and they look so cute. So I put those in. This is the rear entrance. It is also my uh, warehouse. For storage but we'll go in the front and I'll show you that this lamp I don't have connected yet because I don't um, want to run the splitters all on the outside yet so I'm still trying to figure that out so let's go in and I will give you the grand tour oh lag okay <laughs> we still have issues with lag <laughs> so here we go guys this is my living room. We need couches. Can we have some couches, please? We have chairs. Um, I don't know how to get to the uh, really pretty chair that you find on one of the islands yet. I haven't figured that out yet. So I just made this little recliner here. So and for some reason, when you put it in, it sinks. Um, I don't know. It lands on the floor. It has legs, but didn't land that way <laughs> so I don't know but this fireplace um, I looked at one of the workshop items it's a log cabin and it was done really nicely so I took um, that uh, I looked at it how it was built and I built one um, here and I really like it so I have all my items stored accordingly um like this one is closed this one doesn't have anything in it yet but i'm putting all my armor and things like that in it and then over here this is my travel chest so if we want 
Um, if we're going to go on an adventure, this is all the stuff that I would need to take with me um, on the trip. And then this is just my casual um, bookcase with some extra books and stuff. And of course, my pet rock. Gotta have my pet rock. <laughs> and my lovely kitchen, which some of these items I found, like the little um, teacup and candle and I found all those. And we can cook. And this, of course, has food in it. And of course, it has a cookbook because <laughs> everybody needs a cookbook and a glass of wine and i just put a that's a gold coin that i had found um so i thought it looked kind of cute there and then i think this is miscellaneous when i was moving stuff uh, potions rifles anything else i might need on my trip oh she's hungry let's just have a little snacky poo it's a big house i put uh, the picture of the good fruit not the rotten fruit because who wants to look at that when when we're eating <laughs> That's not fun. Okay, let's venture upstairs. Okay, one thing I was going to mention as we go upstairs here, my last ceiling was kind of low, so I made this one a little bit higher. And the stairs, I can't put rails on the stairs themselves, but I think it looks okay. So this is my workshop. Over here we have the um, weaving loom and things to make. Um, clothes and rugs and all that stuff and any resources we need for that are right here right next to it so I don't have to run around looking for stuff because we're lazy <laughs> and the chem station um, I'm putting everything that we need for the chem station in here which I don't even remember making a lab burner but I guess I did <laughs> And just some little end tables just to make it look a little bit nicer. I have the lamps, but like I said, I'm, I'm waiting for the update, which I think is supposed to come out here pretty soon. And all my uh, workbenches. And yeah, I'll hook those lamps up once um, I figure out how I want that to go where it doesn't look all kind of messy. And we have our little reading area here with another fireplace. And this picture is so cute with the little dragon. And of course, we have fairy tales um, to go with our dragon picture. So we can sit here, light the fire. I'm still holding food. <laughs> she does get hungry a lot. So <laughs> she needs a snack halfway through the door. These I found um, the quill and the ink and the pigment jar. I'm guessing that has to do with, with coloring things, but I haven't figured that out yet. So I just put it there. This is our alchemy section, and I thought that rug kind of looked like astrology, so um, I put it there. And this has all my stuff to make potions with. Um, so anything I need goes in there for potions. And this one is just extra in case I run out of room. And then over here we have the lovely patio. Where we have a lovely view, we can sit out here and drink our wine <laughs> or coconut juice um, on the island. That's what we have, coconut juice, and look for sharks. <laughs> okay, so let's go back in. Now the stairway is a little weird. I think because the beam is there, it won't let me go forward, so I got to jump off the side. But, you know, little things, no big deal. Now here we have our storage, and I don't have it turned on right now, but our protection barrier ends right here. Um, I built this, and then afterwards I realized that most of it is outside the barrier, which I'm not too worried about that, you know. I'm not sure what's going to happen when the NPCs come, but if they rob me, um, I may have to put locks on the door. I don't know. But I put these two chests up here because they're the more valuable stuff like um, weapons and gold and things like that. They are in the barrier. But some of these, like the treasures, I have a special treasure room that I built also. And I'll show you that in a second. I took this idea. Let's get out of the shelf here. <laughs> um, 
from Corellis. He made a warehouse um, with the planks, and um, I think those are the um, just the wood boards, but give it a realistic look. Um, so it's not all the same chest. You have bags and you have boxes, and I have all my supplies in here, um, which was kind of a, a you know an ordeal. That's what I've been working on. In case you guys were wondering where where I am, that one's empty. I had to empty these, deconstruct them, and reconstruct them <laughs> down here, uh, and then move all my storage stuff to each uh, of these and of course i have them sorted out by uh, various you know types of items like you know wood and all this steel and metal and ore and all that stuff uh, so i can kind of find them better i really would like if we could label these that would be awesome So back in here, you know, just again, not so much for storage. I have plenty of storage, but, you know, to make it look a little bit more realistic. Um, you know, I've been playing Planet Coaster and, and uh, everybody's all into the realism thing. Um, but I think it looks nice, you know, if you have it look a little bit more uh, realistic. So back here we have some bags and some just pineapples laying around. And then back here I made a like a trophy room so I have a, a prison door on it and I don't know how locks work yet um, I think I have the ability to make them now so I'm gonna do that but this is a uh, work in progress I'm I'm not done but I thought I'd show you because I've, I've done quite a bit show you what I've got so far so I'm gonna like build some shelves and put all the uh, really cool stuff that I find on the other islands in here. There's a plant growing in my uh, my trophy room. Put up some stuff like that. Then we can go out here and it's raining. Okay. Well, I want to show you some other stuff, but um, I think I'll take a little nap and come back and show you that here in just a second. Okay, guys, the weather is um, pretty nasty outside and it's, it's dark. So I thought I'd show you kind of what it looks like um, when it's all lit up. It looks really warm and cozy in here when you have a fire. Our serene's going to uh, be really loud here for a minute. <laughs> Doesn't that look nice? You can just kind of like take a little nap if you want on your on your bed. I think it looks nice at night. Let's see if we can go out here and see what it looks like at night oh yeah so the lanterns give you you know quite a bit of light but what I really like is these little um, glow they look like um, landscape lights I just like the way they look so I thought I would use those and you can find a ton of them in the caves and stuff so I will take a nap and I'll be back in a second. Okay guys, we had one heck of a storm. So I used the time to gather some food. <laughs> I cook when it's uh, raining outside. It helps save time. Okay, so this little area here, I'm going to make um, my food uh, garden. I just have to um, pick it all up and how to arrange it in a more um, logical, well, there is no logic. It's just make it a little bit neater. <laughs> um, make it make it look a little bit nicer. And I was doing some terraforming over here, and I accidentally made this little um, pond. And before I did that, this was sand, and this little shark swam up on the sand I'm like uh, okay so I could kill him no 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 he's a little aggressive <laughs> so I I just dug around him no 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 don't you get feisty on me he might be a little hungry I haven't fed him in a day or two but uh yeah so he got stuck on the sand 
because as you can tell, he was really wanting to uh, bite me. And <laughs> so I just dug out a hole around him, which was a bit perilous because um, he kept trying to bite me and made him a little pond. So this is his little home now, and I just keep him as a pet. He could leave anytime he wants, but he doesn't. <laughs> I think he likes it here. So that's my pet. So if y'all can think of a name for him, um, what should we call him? He's kind of like standing up. What are you doing, dude? <laughs> okay, so moving on. My next little thing that I made. I have been quite busy, guys. Is a lighthouse. And let me put my little suit on here. So we get a better view. There we go. Okay. Now we can see it. So I made a little lighthouse. It's a little bit kind of fancy for a lighthouse, but I started doing it and I rebuilt this thing I don't know how many times. Eight, nine, I don't know. <laughs> Y'all know me. I'm not the greatest builder in the world. Um not gonna lie, I started this in regular game mode and I just kept messing it up. So I tore it down and I had part of it built in regular game mode and then I just um, got in a hurry and I went into edit mode and I built the rest just because it's not in the safety zone. So once you put a stone down, you know how hard it is to pick it back up and um, I'm not good with like puzzles and stuff so I cheated on this one I apologize but yeah I did this in edit mode <laughs> the landscaping and, and all that um, you know I just placed stuff so but you can go in it so let's take this off because it's kind of um, big and I think I tested this out once because mm. when I first did it, um, she kept getting stuck on the, the rocks and I couldn't get down because it wasn't wide enough. And the windows were kind of sticking out and all that stuff. So now she can get around. The door hits her in the head. Oh, don't, don't jump. Probably could stand to be a little wider up here. But she has a lovely view. And really, you know, other than to change the light bulb and look out for enemies, she doesn't really have any um, reason to come up here other than to enjoy the view. And it does run on wind power. And she's stuck. Oh, and I never planted anything in that plant uh, planter. So I got to do that. Like I said, it's a work in progress. But I like. Um, how it's turning out so far. I hope you guys are enjoying the series. Look at the sharks over there. Like, what's up? What's going on? <laughs> are you going to feed me sometime this week? I don't know. <laughs> He's fat enough. He's fine. <laughs> so that's it for uh, this episode, guys. Um, hit the like button if you did enjoy. If you have any other suggestions, we're going to... Um, go on a little adventure and see what else we can find and see if we can find any more islands and now that i have the uh flying suit uh, jetpack we can go into the caves so that should be an adventure i did some cave exploring but um we have a lot more to do so i hope you guys liked it and uh leave a comment below and i will see you in the next one i hope Bye, guys. Take care.